Hello friends, in this illustration, I am going to explain how can we handle the mouse events. For example, when the mouse is clicked or when the mouse is pressed, released, mouse is moved, dragged, when the mouse wheel is moved, and whenever there is something happens in the mouse, an event will be generated. So how shall we check it? For that, I am going to start with a basic Java project from the categories Java from the projects Java application and some name for the project and we are not going to create the main class say that finish and we can say that we can we can see that the project is created and in the source package do the right click and select new and select the option applet so here i am going to demonstrate the event handling by using applet if you are not able to see the applet in this pop-up menu go to the other option and select the categories java and here you may select applet then click next and we can name the applet if you want we can customize the name for example my applet then you may click finish now and here in this applet you are going to do the even handling of mouse So first of all we are going to see when a mouse is clicked, pressed or released what will happen. For that our class should implement an interface called implements mouse listener. We can see the documentation for the mouse listener here. This is a listener interface and the purpose is for receiving the mouse events such as press, release, click, enter and exit on a component. So here the applet subclass my applet we can see that it implements an interface called mouse listener interface and since it is an interface we have to override if any abstract method in this so that is why we here we can see that it is showing some error and we can see the message the message shows that <coughs> my app my applet is not abstract and doesn't override abstract method so we have to override the methods so to do that just click it we can see that there is an option implement all abstract methods so these are the various abstract methods. We can see that mouse clicked, mouse pressed, mouse released, mouse entered and mouse exited. So when we click the mouse, automatically this mouse clicked method will be invoked. And how it is invoked? The moment you click the mouse, the moment you do a mouse click, mouse click means it is a combination of press and release. When you do that, there is an event. This event is generated due to the mouse click and this event will be notified by the mouse listener interface. Then it is the responsibility of the mouse listener interface to invoke the appropriate method that is in this case mouse clicked. Suppose you are just pressing the mouse alone. At that time, again an event will be generated and this event is notified by the mouse listener interface and it is the responsibility of the mouse listener interface to invoke the relevant method mouse pressed mouse pressed like that for mouse released mouse ended mouse exited and when i run the output you'll understand in a better manner so right now i'm removing all this throw new unsupported operation exception which is not required for our contest so i'm just removing all these things remove the throw 
the exception for every overriding method yeah now the code looks very simple right now when you click the mouse we are going to sh show the data that mouse is clicked in the status bar in the status bar if you want to show something we have to call the method show status and we can say that mouse is clicked like this we can show like that we can do it for mouse pressed we are going to show that show status mouse is pressed in the case of release again show status mouse is released some user friendly information you might type show status mouse is ended in the case of mouse exit turn you can say that show the status mouse is exited so here we have methods such as mouse clicked mouse pressed mouse released mouse ended and mouse exited four five methods are there you will check it one two three four five so five methods are there now we are going to run this program and see what happens are we expecting are we getting the expected output we shall check it so i'm going to run this file just run file and you can see the applet window is created and now i'm pressing i'm not getting anything i'm moving the mouse nothing is happening nothing is happening now there is a reason for that as I explained in the previous video tutorial sessions that if you want to handle the event, the event listener must be notified by the particular type of event. For that, that particular component must be registered with the listener. And here, what is that component? The component is in your app, the component component is your applet window. So we have to add the listener to the applet window we have to do that registration part for that i am going to do all those registration in the init method do the registration for mouse listener interface for that there is a method like this add mouse listener then you can see the argument must be an object which uses the mouse listener and here we can see that our subclass of applet my applet implements mouse listener so we can say that here the argument is the current object this that's all now we shall check the output Now I am moving the window to the center, yes. Now we can see that the mouse is ended. You might have noticed the status bar. The moment you exit from the window, you can see that the mouse is exited. Now mouse is again ended. Now I am going to click it. You can see that clicked. It is a combination of press and release. If you do it quickly, you can see that clicked. I am going to press it. It, is, it shows that pressed. Now when I release my hand, we can see that it is released. So we can see that once again mouse is ended, one event, mouse is exited, another event, mouse is clicked, another event, mouse is pressed, then released. So five events are handled. And again we can go with the mouse motion. Motion means you can see that there is one more interface called mouse, mouse motion listener.
we can see that the purpose of this interface it is about when the mouse is moved or dragged we can see that a certain type of event is generated so how will you check it? for that just implement mouse motion listener then we have to override the necessary methods because it is an interface which contains two methods one is for mouse movement that is mouse move and another one for mouse drag so click over here and it says that implement all abstract methods and these are the two new overridden methods mouse drag and mouse move these two methods are from the interface mouse motion listener and here also we can check the status like this show status we will say that mouse is moved and here also we will say that show status mouse is so the first one it is not moved it is about dragging so we will say that mouse is dragged and here mouse is moved now for these two types of event we have the interface mouse motion listener as how we have done for the add mouse listener here also we have to do the restriction so now do the registration with mouse motion listener interface so here also you can say that do the registration with for that add mouse motion listener and say that current object that is your applet now again we are going to check run the file and now we can see that mouse is moved if you want to do the drag just drag and check it you can see that mouse is tracked then when i moved the my when i moved my fingers from the uh, touchpad you can see that there is an another even mouse is released again there is some event regarding the mouse wheel for that we have an another interface called mouse wheel listener this is for wheel movement you can see that a mouse wheel event is generated when the mouse wheel is rotated for that you need the mouse and just override that relevant method and this is the method we have to override you can see the method name is mouse wheel move for that again use the show status you can say that wheel is moved for this also we have to do some registration process do the registration with mouse wheel listener for that add mouse wheel listener and which class implements that wheel listener interface here our current class so that we can see that current object the current object is represented by this now again we are going to check run file the applet window is generated now i am going to move the wheel of my mouse you can see that the wheel is moved again you can see that other events are working pressed clicked the combination is coming dragged released all events are working 
so here we have five methods the first five methods are for mouse listener interface mouse clicked mouse pressed mouse released mouse entered and mouse exited and next two methods are for mouse motion listener when you move the mouse and when you drag the mouse and the next method is for mouse wheel listener when you move the wheel of the mouse thank you for watching this video